Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome to Young Titan World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about one particular TV show that I am very excited to talk to you about. Now I know I've not necessarily finished all the TV shows that I've talked about on this channel, but I can tell you for sure that this one is the real zinger. Now usually when we talk about love, I feel like it's a very complicated topic and a lot of people have a different definition of what it means to be in love. But at least for this show, they get into a more physical, more psychological relationship with what it means to fall in love with someone and how it affects you in a way that is so profound, it sounds ridiculous. Now, uh, the show that we're going to be talking about today is Irresistible. Now, of course, if you are hearing Irresistible right now, chances are you've never heard of it. So you're like, Young Titan, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, it sounds crazy because it's actually a French TV show. That's right. It's from the Francois. <laughs> the je ne sais quoi of... Uh, you know, TV shows. And I mean, they're very deep on their sensuality. And when it comes to TV, you know, like everything from blues, the warmest color to some stuff that I've never seen before. But they're so intricate with, you know, art and passion that it just basically melts into your metaphoric tongue. Um, the show, actually, Irresistible, is about a lady who's been in a relationship before. She has her own podcast and everything. And, you know, she, she's, she's like, basically, she has the rundown of love, okay? She's been in love, and now she's business partners with the person that she used to be in love with. Now, obviously, she having made a podcast about this love, made a book about this love, she's obviously on top of things, and it's in more control of what it means to be in love. But then she meets this one guy who just, like, overwhelms her in a way that she cannot explain. It is so crazy for her that she... Every time that she gets close to him, her temperature rises, her heart beats faster. She fucking goes gaga for this dude and she cannot explain why. Now, first off, she kind of assumes that it is a disease of the heart called Tokoboda or some shit. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the name that she gave. David, but apparently it's a Japanese word that was used to describe um, a sort of situation or uh, a disease you get after your heart gets broken and it means that, you know, your, your heart is basically defective and uh, it works really bad. Apparently that's what it means. I'm not really a, an expert in that. But that is basically the premise of what she believes is happening to her when she's around this guy. So she gets the lab test, gets the CT scans and everything to find out more about the situation she's in. Or at least about the disease that she has. But the doctor confirms it is nothing of that sort and it's all in her head. You hear that? All in her head. But basically, every time she sees this guy, the heart gets to the pumping and the brain gets to the, you know, the blight-headed side and she basically passes out. I say basically a lot, you know. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to talk about my usual tics on this show one time. But it is evident that the guy has this hold on her. And watching this TV show just makes me appreciate love more. Uh, it's not just the sex and the uh, the crazy dates on unusual days or the the abrupt chaos that comes from trying to pick out a meal together or something. But it's more of a more of a sensual touch. And I really think Irresistible is just one of my favorites. And we're about to end 2023. And I just heard that Eminem is dead. So, I don't know how to feel right now. I kind of hoped I was going to meet the dude in person. Please talk to the guy. Say hi. Or just like have him say fuck you to me once. But he's dead. He's dead just, just, as, uh, just as much as every single person that I would have wanted to meet. Uh, they're just 
they're just going. <laughs> Isn't that just crazy? Uh, but yeah, Irresistible is an amazing TV show. It is in French, so if you're not with that French vibe, you're going to have to go work up on your French or just get the uh, English subtitles. I know I did. <laughs> it makes things a whole lot easier. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a great way to learn the language, too, uh, without the stress of being in a classroom. So, yeah, you guys should go check it out. Irresistible is amazing. And um, I really I really found it uh, unique to watch because of how much they talked about the relationship in such an open way. It's like (laughs) they're talking to you. They're basically talking to you, the viewer, (laughs) when they get into the intro part. They zoom into the actor's screen. Uh, they, they zoom into the actor's face. And, uh, you know, then they're talking to you directly through the camera. And <laughs> you cannot look away. I dare you. And they always manage to choose, like, the most attractive of actors. I don't know what's up with France, but those dudes have, like, super attractive people everywhere. I mean, <laughs> I can't name one French movie I've watched that doesn't have hot people on it. Even the, even the side characters, the characters in the background, people who have nothing to do with the show are just attractive in it. It's just crazy. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically, uh, wow. I would say that's my fifth, basically. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves. I'm on my way to, uh, to a business meeting and I hope you take care of yourselves as well until next time which is basically I oh my god <laughs> I'm so aware of my ticks now is getting uncomfortable but uh hope you guys take care of yourselves and until next time young time out thank you for listening basically <laughs> okay that was intentional bye guys bye Oh, yeah, and also, uh, like and subscribe to the Spotify and the YouTube channel as it helps everyone. It it helps me, and, uh, it it helps everyone. I don't know. I I really need an excuse that's, like, substantial. It's like I'm I'm donating money to something. Can't name it right now. I must feel really offensive. Bye, though. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. Go live your life in freedom and fortune.